Hi everybody, welcome back. I think for this video, I'm just gonna try to introduce the concept of the double stroke roll, and then in the next video, probably go over uh, each of the individual uh, double stroke roll rudiments that are part of the standard 26. So how do we accomplish a double stroke roll? And actually, what is a double stroke roll? Well, if you're doing a double stroke roll, um, what you're doing is each time you hit the drum, you're letting the stick bounce twice. And so what you end up with is this kind of machine gun sounding roll when you get to its top speed. So, okay, so how do we go about working, working that up? Well, first of all, it takes a while to work on just the cleanliness and the feel of the whole thing. Um, but my teacher actually had a really good way of uh, showing you how to get the feel of the roll. And the best thing to do, I'm going to go ahead and use traditional grip for this video. If you're using match grip, then it's just same for both. Uh, the right and the left stick. What you want to do is start the stick up here and just let it fall to the drum and bounce over and over again. Do not br bring the stick back up. The stick will rebound on its own and continue to bounce like this. And don't press, don't press the stick into the drum either. Just let it bounce. you kind of get the feel for letting the stick bounce. And this is assuming your grip is correct as explained in the previous video. And then the left hand, same kind of thing, although because this grip is a little bit different, it, it, it's bouncing will be a little bit less, uh, probably a little bit less bouncy. I still, I can still do it though. I'm gonna try to bring the stick all the way up as close to 90 degrees as you can. Okay, and also don't force the stick into the drum either. If you force it, then you'll get that, that buzz. Just let it fall. Once you, get, once you get the hang of doing it with one stick, try to do it with one right after the other. And as you can notice, a good, another good thing to try to do is when one goes down, the other one comes up. So I'm just letting the stick do most of the work here. My lick, my wrists and my, my fingers and everything's really relaxed, really, except for the fulcrum point in each of my sticks. So, um, and this is different than the multiple bounce roll, which I'll ex pro probably explain in a separate video. Um, I don't believe the multiple bounce roll is part of the standard 26 rudiments, but I will do a video on that just because it's used a lot in concert band and orchestra material. Multiple bounce, or I'm sorry, the double stroke roll is generally used in marching band material. Um, okay, so once you kind of get the hang of that, then you want to try to limit the bounces to just two instead of multiple. And just do it with one hand at a time first. So once it bounces, bring it back up. It's a very slow bounce. It's almost like it's at a point where you can actually hit the drum twice at the same speed, but you want to avoid doing that because you're working on letting the stick do the work, not your wrist. So it's just one stroke from you and the stick is bouncing twice. Now, another thing is you want to try to make the second bounce as loud as the first. In other words, don't inhibit the rebound. Try to let it come back up as far as it can for the second uh, bounce. I think there's a, a book, um, there's two really popular drum books. One's called Stick Control, the other one's called Accents and Rebounds. And the book Accents and Rebounds talk about, it's, talks about the physics of the stick hitting the drum and doing double bounces and talks about how it's basically impossible for the second bounce to be just as loud as the first. There will, no matter how good you are, there will always be some difference unless you're forcing the bounce in with your wrists. 
which is a, a totally different thing than what I'm doing right here. So you want to try to get try to get them nice two even bounces. And you want to again avoid forcing the stick into the drum because if you do that you're going to get this. You need, we're not we're not trying to do that yet. The same with with the left. And then once you get the hang of that, then you want to try to put it together with both hands. Now, this is the tricky part um, because I've had students in the past, um, when they first start doing this, it, it'll go one of two ways. They'll start doing it and they'll put a large time gap in between each hand like this. Um, which isn't a bad thing right off the bat. Um, if you need to take some time to think about what you're doing, that's fine. But the goal should be to try to get them one right after the other. So you have a nice even da 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 and what it what it sounds like. This is a very it's a very slow double bounce rule and that's that's what you want to work on first you don't want to work on doing it fast because if you try to do it fast it's just going to sound dirty and sloppy and that's not what we're trying to accomplish here we want to try to make it sound clean so again now the second pitfall i've seen is when you start to clam up and you start forcing the strokes into the drum and it starts sounding like this You want to avoid that too and just make sure it stays nice and even. And really, once you start doing that, then that's most of the battle because once you get that in place, then you can begin to speed it up a little bit and it'll sound clean. It's just a matter of just a matter of moving your hands a little bit faster. And if you're just starting out, you don't need to worry about going any faster than that. That's that would be actually a very good thing just starting out. Um, but I do understand that sometimes it could take weeks just to be able to get this going. And it just depends. It's different for everybody. It just depends on, you know, what your coordination level happens to be at the time. Um, so that's basically how you accomplish a double stroke roll. In a future video, let me see how much how much time has this taken up? Enough time, really, for a short video. So um, in the next video, I'll start talking about each individual rudiment that is a double stroke, a double stroke roll rudiment. So until then, um, may all of your rolls be clean. See you next time. <laughs>